Hello everyone, welcome to Creepy Nibs. I am Count Chuckula, and we are going to pretend that it is not December um, and that I filmed this on time. So here's my fire swatch with me for the November Ink Flight Box. Uh, we'll talk about this guy later. Hopefully my tone did not suggest anything at all whatsoever. Okay. Dude, here we go. First up, pumpkin cake. These are all by Monteverde. We read the descriptions in the other video. I'm trying this with a black background again. It's black paper. So um, usually I'll move the card around when I'm doing the, the brush part so that I don't like put the ink in a spot where another ink had been. Um, but I won't be able to see that on this black paper. Um, so hopefully this does not end in a way that is disastrous. Okay, can I write today? Whoop, pen did not want to do its thing. I'm excited to see this one in action. Which brush to use? This one. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's a good dip. Oh, this is so nice. It's so rusty. Oh, it's amazing. I love this color. I love it. I love it. I just do. You know what I've kind of realized? I like vibrant colors. Like, I like that they exist. Whoa. It's a, oh, shit. Exposure values are not okay. I ordered a new computer, so video quality is going to improve um, by a long shot. I'm sorry that this is not showing up properly. Can I turn the brightness down on my lamp? That's a little better, but it's not at all showing up as pretty as it is in person. Shit. Um, ha! Maybe... Go to the white one. Um, it's kind of better. Whatever. I like the black. We're gonna stick with the black. Color accuracy. You're just here to listen to the sound of my voice, okay? And let's not try to pretend that you're actually interested in quality content because that is not the thing that you will receive here at Creepy Nibs. <laughs> No, that's not true. That's not true. You want to hear opinions on pens, and I think I do a good job of, like, giving necessary and unnecessary information. But the necessary stuff is there. You hear it and see it, and there we go. Boop, 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 boop. Here we are. This one is chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding. Yeah. Oh, I got it wash the glass nib. We gotta turn this lamp back up. There we go. Now I can see better. Got to see better. Better seeing is good. When I was in second grade, um, I got glasses when I was a kid, like pre-first grade, and I didn't have them for second grade. For, uh, reasons. And, uh, it was, I, oh god, I did so terrible, it's not even funny. It was just, like, insane. Like, there's a spelling test, and, like, I couldn't read. Oh, shit! Like, what was on the, the, the little whiteboard for what word we were supposed to be spelling? Where is that brush that I literally just had? <gasps> It's fine. 
It's fine. It's fine. I'll find it eventually. Oh, it's on the floor. That's a place for it that is not what it's supposed to be. Okay. I didn't clean it well enough. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's not saturated enough to, to ruin everything. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, I didn't know how to spell the word sneaker. I didn't know how to spell laugh. Like, I knew it wasn't L-A-F, but that's what I wrote. And it, like, I got in trouble for it. It was bad. It was a terrible time in my life. She was really mean. Just, no. Second grade, terrible. Absolutely horrific and traumatizing experience. <laughs> so, um, that was a thing. Third grade was, I mean, I mean, the kids were terrible. The teacher, she was fantastic. Thank you, Mrs. Casey. You were always a sweetheart. I remember you gave me that stuffed panda bear when Vanessa Cruz stepped on my Britney Spears pencil and I cried. Um, <clears throat> oh, I forgot to write the name. Sorry, I got so caught up in my anecdotes that I fucked up a coloring card. I only have three cards left, um, so I need to order a new one before next month's fire swatch with me. Uh, so <laughs> that's a thing. Um, are we going to be able to fit it up here? Oh, this is going to be disastrous. I need to... Fucking exposure. I'm sorry. This is not turning out as intended. Ugh. Fuck. I keep getting stuck over the top of the card. Ugh. Okay. All right, I'm kind of glad that you can't see that writing. Let's, um, oh, I can't stitch the video together on my phone, so I have to not, I can't go back and change, like, exposure settings. All right, we're just going to stick to the white one again. Um, the black one will be back for, for the unboxing for this month's box. But yeah, ew, that writing, look at that. That's, that's what I, that's what I get if I don't use my right angle. By right angle, I mean correct angle, not um, 90 degrees. <laughs> Obviously, you know what I mean. You're not stupid. All right, so this is there. All right. Uh, I am thirsty, but I do not have any beverage in reach. Whatever, it's fine. See, this is that unnecessary information part that I was telling you about before. Boom. We're going to not forget to write the name of the ink this time. Eh. Dude. All right. All right. It's cool. It's fine. This one is Cherry Danish. Okay. Boop. Oop. That's a big one. Okay. <clears throat> That is beautiful. That is beautiful red. I like that quite a bit. We'll see when it's dry, but that is wonderful shade. Yes. Cool. Do we need to turn that up again? I'm sorry, this is not. <clears throat> Enjoy me tweaking all the settings throughout the video. All right, boom, here we go. Boom, ooh. Yes. Here for it. I'm here for it. Let's do a little dip. Yeah, this is a very cherry red. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh huh. Beautiful. Alright, so these first three colors, A plus.
I am loving it. Let's watch that drip. Yeah, it looks quite bloody. I like it. It is appealing. Oh, all right. Let's kind of move stuff so I don't get ink all over things that I don't want to get ink on. Boom. Okay. Uh, all right. Next up, we got mango mousse. It's M-O-U-S-S-E, not M-O-O-S-E. Though a moose that was a mango I would want to be friends with. Um, that sounds pretty rad. And moose are very scary and mangoes are not scary. So the juxtaposition between the two would be rather entertaining. <sighs> okay. If you give a moose a mango... See, if you give a moose a muffin, it'll just want a mango. So you have to give a moose a mango, and then it'll be happy. Yeah. Pretty. It's very, it's nice and vibrant. Okay, we're gonna use a different brush because this is a very light color, so we're gonna use a freshly clean one. It's one of those inks that you can see through in the vial. It's nice and transparent. So hopefully it will lead to some beautiful shading. I wouldn't write with this color, personally. If you might, you you do it. I'm not saying that that is the wrong thing to do, um, obviously. But um, this would be great for, like, artwork and stuff. Or like, I don't know, you want to do something special. But it's still readable. That's very good. If I wanted to write with this, I could. I just don't. Ooh, but yeah, all right, let's... Give it a minute. I'll show them all when they're dry at the end, maybe, or I'll just attach to the beginning of the next one like I did last month. I mean this month because it's November. Um, so yes, okay, good stuff. Here we go. Let's move along. Fuck. All right, next, iced cookie. Cookie, it is a tealy blue color. As you'll see in just a fucking second, because, yes, that's how this works. Uh, where is my glass hand? I found it. Here we go. Let's go get the move on. I didn't clean the moose off of it. Ooh, look at this paper towel so far. Yeah, look at that. There's a roof. I'm pretty sure that's from the Cherry Danish. Gotta do bigger dips of this brush because it doesn't seem to hold enough ink. See, look, it's streaking already, and I didn't streak with the other two brushes, so it's a brush problem, not a me problem.
Let's see if I can mop some of that up. Is the blue? It's fine. It's not showing up as teal um, as it is, but uh, yeah, very teal. I had Game Boy Color that was this color when I was like eight. <clears throat> and then I got the clear purple one, and it was like my favorite thing ever. I had that purple clear Game Boy Color and Pokemon Crystal, and that was my life. It was amazing. I was so young, and so innocent, and so full of trauma. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. Today's Count Chuckula's childhood anecdotes from 650 years ago. It was a beautiful time. All right, here we go. Blue bear muffin. This looks like it's gonna be very pretty purple. Oop, and there's some on the section, but it's fine. Pretty. It's a very apt color name. You know, like a blueberry muffin or like anything with a blueberry filling. This is that color. So, um, kudos to Monteverde. Very accurate. Something I am pleased to see. Things are named aptly. pretty. It's not a unique color. I have I've gotten a few that look similar. This is very nice. It's a wonderful maroon plum kind of color. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. I bet that this and uh, mango mousse would look very good like, side by side. Like, if you wanted to like accent a page of like a bullet journal, something like that, that wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad idea. It'd be nice and complimentary. I gotta get this part. <laughs> Fun stuff. Final one. Here we go. Then we're done. Uh, well, no, then we're not done. So we still got to talk about that felt tip marker. All right. Boom. Birthday cake is purple. It's purpley purple. It's very purpley purple. It's nice. It's, it's very purple, and I like it. God, I'm so thirsty. Oh, there's too much ink on the section that time. That's going to be an interference. Hands shaking again. Brush is live. It like 
jumped out of my hands like some kind of fish creature. It's kind of scary, but it's fine. It's fine. These predators were given to me by the great old ones. So the fact that they jump around like some kind of fish creature is um, appropriate. Ia Ia, Cthulhu Fatagan, etc. No, but seriously though, H.P. Lovecraft was a fucking asshole. Um, but, uh, yeah. Mythology is still cool. But his reasons for writing it were kind of fucking garbage. Um, you can look that up if you want to know more about it. We're not here to talk about H.P. Lovecraft and what his cat is named. Um, was. Obviously, they're both dead. Um, so, uh... That's a thing. This purple is coming up way weird. I can't. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Here. Um, bring it in. Black background again. We're going to wash everything out. Whoa. That's cool. See, that looks like when you dye an Easter egg purple. That happens. That's neat. So, um, yes, I guess it's a very Easter purple. There you go. Good stuff. Okay, so set that right there. So here's this thing. All right, here is the Euchre's 1.0 millimeter uh, felt tip pen thingy majinger. All right, and uh, Monteverde converter that came with the set. The converter's fine. I have no complaints about the converter. The converter converts, and then it. That's, that's all I need. It's nice and smooth. Huh. I like this kind of um, thing. I don't like I don't like it round. I'm not really a fan of the Lamy ones that are flat. They just don't feel as... I don't know. I like the feeling of a circle better than um, a weird trapezoidal creature. Uh, so yes. Alright. That's the thing. Uh, and my capping mechanism quite nice satisfying it's like a it's like a click but it's soft you can feel it more than you can hear it um but yeah so that's fine i'm sure the clip is fine it's whatever i <laughs> uh so uh here is the writing sample i did when i first inked it up here we're gonna just like there we go there's that okay um so yeah, it's fine. It wrote, it wrote nice. I didn't dislike it. Here, look at it a little closer. I have filled it with diamine graphite. It's um, it's mm, it's a gray, but it's green. It's green, I think. I don't know. I'd call it a green more than a gray. It's a greenish gray more than, or it's a grayish green more than a greenish gray. You know? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, I got some fucking sheen there. That was pretty cool. Uh, this is Rhodia paper. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. It doesn't like, doesn't cause any bleeding. See, obviously that is from the big blorchy thing. Um, oh, okay. That's, a, that is a great ink that I wrote with on the back. Um, it's not, it's not bleed. So yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, but now, This has been inked since, like, the day I did that other video. Um, do it on the back. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not pressing with this at all. Like, it specifically says not to do that at all, and I don't want to fuck up the tip um, if this does actually write. Um, but if you want to, like, ink it up um, as soon as you get it, and then uh, uh, write with it for a small period of time, uh, you could do that. Uh, but otherwise, if you want to write with it, you're not really going to have the best of times. I hate saying bad things about pens. 
Like, I don't like to have to do this. I don't know if it's just me bitching or like, is this a common occurrence if you got this box and you use, I, maybe I should try it with other inks before I give like final word about it. Um, here, I'll dip it in the water and even then it doesn't, see, well, I just got it all over this section that time. Um, but yeah, that, that was kind of, I don't know, it's really disappointing because I was excited for this. I'm like, this would be quite useful for things and stuff. Um, I don't like the color, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, but hey, 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 hey. Uh, so that's, that is how that worked out. Um, unfortunately, not very well. Um, but when it worked, it was nice. Um, I liked that part. So um, here's the, let's get the inks back in for a final roll call dealio thingy. Ugh. They're not all, all dry, but whoa, hello. Like a moose in the headlights. Birthday cake. Okay, cool. Um, so that's those. All right, so um, uh, I had fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. Uh, I will see you at a later date, and we will talk about more pen stuff because I love all of you. Okay, bye.